The okay, egg was not on the salmon. salmon. So can I please get a new one? I don't want to eat this. Can you leave already? Why are you even here? You're joking, right? I can't make this up. Why is the egg not on the salmon? You guys can see clearly that I'm not making this up. Like, I can't make this up. Do you guys see this egg that's not on here? We, we can't, sorry. We're too busy to educate this. I'm sorry. Okay, so I ordered a salmon benedict, which the egg clearly is supposed to be on, and then why is the sauce even on the side? Like, it's supposed to be on top. Can I just speak to the manager? Like, I'm so done. I am the manager. I really don't know who hired you to be a manager, but I can clearly see that you are not, you know, the right person for this job. I'm going to try to put this on. If it, like, opens on the way, I'm literally going to have to ask you to bring me another one. Oh my god. Okay, it's breaking. Can I get a new one? Sorry, yeah. Can I please get a new one with like a new plate? It's to be aesthetic for my story. Because I'm honestly not eating this until you bring me a new one. Sorry. I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving. I'm so sorry, like I'll just leave. You can just serve this to the next person because I didn't eat it yet, but I really appreciate it. My boomer boss today was talking about how she worked her butt off to graduate college with no debt. I asked her how much her tuition was. She said $750 a semester. Man, our grandparents really had it. And I'm jealous, not because of the good economy, but because of their ability to gatekeep a good economy. It's really not fair that I can't do the same to my grandkids, man. When you're an influencer, but you don't know how to use Roman numerals. Oh my god, the clock's upside down. And if I'm being honest, I would be the bad friend. I would never tell her that her clock's upside down. Every single time I would go into her house, I would have my own personal inside joke. My friend didn't reply to her man for two weeks and told me that you gotta give him time to miss you. And now he's got a new girl. I truly never understood the logic of not texting someone so that they could care about you more. Or worse, not texting someone because you don't want them to think that you care too much. I just don't understand the mental logic. If you enjoy having a conversation with someone, have that conversation. I swear, people just complicate their lives for no reason. Beyonce reportedly argues her seven-year-old daughter is a cultural icon in a legal fight to trademark the name Blue Ivy. Beyonce has argued that her seven-year-old daughter, Blue Ivy, is a cultural icon in a trademark dispute with a small business owner. The singer's attempts to trademark the little girl's name have met with opposition from the wedding planner, Wendy Morales, whose business shares the name with Blue Ivy. Beyonce is really out here taking money from the poor because somebody has the audacity to use the name Blue Ivy on their business. Your daughter is not a cultural icon. I forgot that you even had a kid. I'm struggling to think of a single thing your daughter has been a part of that remotely qualifies her as a cultural icon. Can anybody think of anything that Blue Ivy has done that is notable at all? This is Daniel Radcliffe's Harry Potter girlfriend. Now what do you see? Aaron Drake, falsely implied here to be transgender, is currently pregnant with her first child. With Daniel Radcliffe. Something that trans women aren't capable of. But that's besides the point. The fact that she kinda looks masculine isn't enough to claim that anybody is trans. That's just not enough. You're really out here just making wild claims about people. For what? Why? What did Daniel Radcliffe do to you? Oh my god, I bought this ice cream last week and you notice all the black flecks in it? I didn't notice it till I had a few mouthfuls and I thought it was pretty gritty. Anyone else had this problem or know what it could be? Yuck! Read! Can you please just be literate? For, for once, can people just look at the packaging and read? The ice cream has natural vanilla bean in it. That's where the flavor comes from. All of your worries would have been dashed if you just red words on the package but no no you chose to be a stupid bi dude pays ten thousand dollars to meet a girl he follows on only fans all he got was a hug one month later that money is funny <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry for a moment i genuinely didn't believe what i was looking at this man paid ten thousand dollars to get a hug and that same money funded a trip with her actual boyfriend that she had the entire time this is prestige level cucking this man really put up $10,000. He paid for the privilege of being humiliated online in such a visceral way. 
I wouldn't be surprised if this dude painted the ceiling. I wouldn't blame him. Like, there's no coming back from this. You ever just end a date and block a dude because he has the audacity to ask for no cheese on his burger? Guys, I just got back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this to myself? So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. Not a catfish. Things are going well. And the waitress comes over. She wants to take her order. And I said, okay, I'm gonna take the Branzino. And he said, I'm gonna take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this gonna be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind." Over there and I'm like, what the actual fuck? I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat my Branzino and see what happens. And he's like, oh my God, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah, it's New York City. So I got my Branzino, he got his burger, we were eating. And once I was satisfied, I got up and I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him, the check is taken care of, you should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. If you're white and you've posted a gif of a meme of a black person to express a strong emotion, you may be guilty of wearing digital blackface. No, that's not true. No. Can we for a moment stop inventing problems? Literally equating using a GIF on Twitter to actual blackface is insanely disrespectful. Because let's be honest here, one is a meme and the other was just racist entertainment that had the explicit intention of demeaning and disrespecting black people. Those two things aren't the same. Stop giving fat suits awards. We want better representation in Hollywood. Skincare brand Dove rips into Oscar winning film The Whale for using a fat suit instead of an obese actor. I can tell that everyone who's responsible for this post and for that type of activism didn't watch the movie. The movie was not kind to fat people. If anything, it was a nearly two hour long PSA on why not to be obese. And let's be honest here, if there was a obese actor playing that role, you guys would be still upset because somebody is making a movie about how it's wrong to be gross and unhealthy. Uh, women don't look at someone and think, I'd like to screw that person. Men do. This dude has either never dated a woman once in his life, or the women he has been in relationships with never were physically attracted to him. Those are the only two justifications that could lead to someone having this perspective, because that is demented. This clip is of a dude getting mad at somebody else in the locker room because they have the audacity to ask him to put his phone away. This guy. Still no progress here. What? Still no progress. Oh. I understand. A random photographer caught these shots while I was down at the beach during sunset without me knowing. Gotta love the magic of unintentional spontaneous photo shoots. So spontaneous that the blocking and the posing was perfect for every shot. And you know what? It's so crazy that this guy spontaneously used Adobe Lightroom to make sure that everything looks good in every single image. Who are you fooling? Taylor Swift is concerned about climate change. Fun fact, her private jet emits more carbon in every single trip than your car in your entire lifetime. That private jet has flown over 200 times in the past year. If your parent approves of your marriage but your grandparents and uncles didn't, would you still get married? Well shit, I might as well ask the postman too if I'm taking everybody's opinion. Hi y'all, um, my name is Jay and uh, this is kind of my situation right here. Um, I am not a special ed education teacher. I am a paraprofessional. I do not have a bachelor's degree, no certifications, no accreditations whatsoever to be teaching a class full of specially educated kids. And this is the second day they've had me do this. They knew that the teacher was not gonna be here today. She called ahead and told them, I'm not gonna be here. They still didn't get up because they know that they could rely on us. These kids are nonverbal. They can't tell their parents that they don't have a teacher. And so they get away with it. If this school receives federal funding, these kids need to have a special education te teacher here. It's a human rights violation. 
y'all need to look into TUSD because this is happening everywhere. Every class, every school that I've been contracted to go to, the teacher is always ready to quit. There's no support. No IEPs are being met. This is a human rights violation and no one's talking about it because these kids can't advocate for themselves. The film is disgusting with its promotion of nasty propaganda. It attempts to humanize the vile creatures that terrorized the world in the 20th century and tries to get us to view them as the good guys. Films like this are the reason why we have such a huge resurgence of fascist ideology in recent times. I bet you guys can't guess what this review is for. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to guess. Go ahead and throw it into the comments down below. Okay, a few more seconds. Go ahead and put that down there. I bet you didn't say All Quiet on the Western Front, a movie based on World War I and also on the book All Quiet on the Western Front, which is known as the anti-war book that everybody reads. All right, everyone, we have lunchroom rules, okay? Please read these new rules and commit them to memory. Go straight to your seat after receiving your hot lunch or cold lunch. Do not talk to or visit with any students already eating lunch. Choose your seat wisely. Once seated, you will keep this seat for the remainder of lunchtime. If you have assigned seats, you sit in your assigned seat. Stay in your seat with your bottom on the seat at all times. Face forward. You may talk to students who are seated close to you during lunchtime. This means those seated directly across from you, diagonally from you, and next to you. Talking over the head of the person next to you is not allowed. Standing up to interact with someone across the table from you is not allowed. You may not talk or gesture to students who are not at your table. If you need something, raise your hand and an adult will get it to you. Condiments, use the bathroom, spork, napkin, and spills. If you would like your tray cleared or garbage thrown away during lunch, raise your hand and wait for an adult to take it. The only time you're allowed to leave your seat is to get second helpings or use the restroom. You may raise your hand first to get permission. Are these rules from an alternative school? Is this a prison school? What's going on here? The only rule in my lunchroom all the way through from elementary school to high school was please don't fight each other. Please fight each other after school. Don't fight each other in the lunchroom. Bride found groom being bra- What? Huh? Oh, man. I don't have time for this. There's no alcohol in this room. I can't- I can't avoid my thoughts. Who- Who does this? The internet is horrified after a groom was caught by his bride hours before the wedding being breastfed by his mother in the toilets. And some people have said what he did was worse than him cheating. I agree. I agree. Why are they doing that? Why are they doing? How old is this dude and how old is the mom? I, uh, is this a, what type of crime is this? This has to be a crime. Yeah. Record it, record it, record it. Trey, watch out. Watch out, Trey. Wait, if it's a girl, this is Timmy. If it's a boy, it's, it's, it's the second. It's just. Yeah, so what's gonna happen? It's open. It's open. It's open. It's open. It's open. God damn it! Troy! Troy! <laughs> Troy! Gwyneth Paltrow broke down and ate bread during quarantine. What was your lowest point? Well, for starters, I lost my job and my mother died. So, that's how I spent my quarantine. But yeah, sucks for her, I guess. Our elementary school recently had to ask parents to stop delivering restaurant meals via Grubhub and DoorDash to the cafeteria. That is so dumb, but this also sounds like private school activity, 100%. I'm not even sure if that's true, but it just sounds like it, you know? Oh, my son doesn't like school lunch. He only likes Subway, so I send him Subway during lunchtime. That shouldn't be a problem. I pay tuition. You guys should just let me do things. Keanu Reeves would totally shit himself if anyone tried to kill him, let alone thousands of evil hitmen. He's just a makeup wearing salesman, and what he's selling are lies. Violence isn't sexy, death isn't easy, and karma won't get you. Keanu, try selling truth. Remember everyone, her vote is just as equal as yours. She has the same ability to pick political leaders just like you. Even though she has half of a brain, she's still able to do that. What a wonderful world we live in. I love living here. This is the best place ever. You ever just make fun of someone for being homeless and mentally ill? I do not believe in recording people when they're at their lowest, but Delonte West is at my 7-Eleven.
<laughs> Two stars. My husband and I were extremely disappointed in this tour. We didn't come to hear a lecture on how the white people treated slaves. We came to get this history of a southern plantation and get a tour of the house and grounds. The tour guide was so radical about slave treatment we felt we were being lectured and bashed about slavery. My ancestors were from Sicily, never owned slaves, and my husband's were German, and none of his ever owned slaves. I am by far not a racist or against all Americans having equal rights, but this was my vacation, and now we're crossing all plantation tours off our list. It was just not what we expected. I'll go back to Louisiana and see some real plantations that are so much more enjoyable to tour. Yo, that's so crazy. See, I feel the same way. Recently, I went to go tour Auschwitz Birkenau, and it just bothered me how they kept talking about the Holocaust. You feel me? I just wanted to learn about train logistics. That's how f stupid you sound. What the f? You picked a tour at a southern plantation. The conversation about slavery is bound to come up, especially when someone asks the question of, hmm, how did the homeowners own such a beautiful plantation? I seriously wonder how they earned all of that money to pay for such beauty. I know she's from a game, I don't play video games, and I have no issues about representation, but making Zelda a girl is a bit too much. They're overreaching. This cannot be a real take, man. It's just, the ignorance is too unbelievable. Imagine for a moment being this idiot, going out of your way to SPEAK on topics you have no background on, yet be so sure of your opinion, be so sure of your conclusion. Yeah, I don't even know what game she's from, but Zelda being a girl is weird and too much representation. What the f What do you want her to be, a femboy? Wait, so like, how big are you though? Um, 6'4"-ish? <laughs> no, I mean like, in bed, how big are you? Uh, still 6'4", just sideways? What, what are you asking me? What's, what's going on here? Jamie Lee Curtis wins the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. Random mundane white woman in film, one of the antagonists even, winning in a film with a primarily Asian cast is crazy. Random white woman. Jamie Lee Curtis is a random white woman. You know, Freaky Friday, Knives Out, Halloween. And this is her first Oscar, by the way. After appearing in Knives Out. I don't know what this girl's smoking, but it's crazy. It's absolutely nuked her brain cells, because what the f was that take? Like, for real. How much is $5,000 in dollars? 5,000. No like button dollars. 5,000. Bitch, I know it's 5K, but like, how much is it in dollars? Like, what's not clicking? You, bitch, you're not clicking. How does someone like this pass any grade in any level of school? How? How did you get this far? How do you even know how to type words on Twitter? At the Berlin Wall last week, walls work. <sighs> so is someone go tell her? Is anybody go let her know? Because if I let her know, I'm going to be mean about it. And our final post of the day comes from Insider. A YouTuber was making a prank video in a Virginia mall. He said the pranky took it badly and shot him. For the children who are watching this video right now, which you shouldn't be because I'm saying bad words and showing you bad things, you shouldn't be here, but whatever. For the children out there who think this is funny, who wants to go around and like do pranks on adults uh, with your phone out to make content, let me go ahead and share some wisdom with you. You have no idea what people are dealing with at any time of the day. So if you mess with a stranger, you're gambling with your life. Because stuff like this happens, what you might think is a, you know, harmless joke, for that person was the final straw and they will pull out the nine and end your life. All right, that's why you don't just mess with people. That's why you don't just test people in general. You have no idea what they're going through that day and you just might be the final straw to break their back. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris, AKA Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. To those who have a keen ear, you'll probably notice a change in audio quality. And it's because I'm in a hotel right now and I'm using a totally different microphone. And to be honest, it's pretty nostalgic. It's been a while since I've used my Blue Yeti, so it's nice to dust it off from time to time. <laughs> But as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to Code Connor, Nat Matt, Tifa is better than Aerith, Aileris' mom, Declan, S16, Green Pasta Man, Squish, Rinhex, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, Clifford, James Tucker, Lucas Adams, Big Boy Bailey, BMX30, Walinda, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, Rivka, The Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Faneker, Zach F, Darth Titan, Keely, Dundernass Hawk, 
Bones, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swiss Patreon user Noah and Catherine Taylor. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one of my merch store and one of my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.